Greyhound racing is controversial because many believe that the greyhounds aren't treated very well. It's the sport that's all about the gambling. The dogs tend to be a byproduct of the industry. So once they're no longer of use, they need to be disposed of. There once was a time, up until the 80s, when um, the dogs were killed. They were just killed. Nobody knew about them as pets, and late 80s people started figuring out that they actually make fabulous pets. So at that point, um, rescue groups started popping up, um, and more and more over the years have been rescued and finding homes, um, which is wonderful. As, as word's gotten out that they're not hyper, and they don't need a huge yard and tons of exercise. I love the greyhounds because they're like big couch potatoes. They are affectionate, but not needy. They are lazy, but they get bursts of energy. And people think they're just gonna be running around all the time. And they really aren't because they do spend so much time sedate. They're used to that. So for the most part, that's what they do. They have no stamina. They are very, very short distance sprinters. The average race is about 30 seconds. I would pick up the leash and he would look at me from the sofa as if to say, have a good time. Let me know when you're home. Oh, don't wake me if I'm napping. The way they are able to transform people's lives is pretty incredible. And um, we oftentimes have people who were never intending to get a second dog or a third dog or a fourth dog come back and get more um, because they are so easy and because they are so sort of healing. The, the energy is very um, quiet. And they're pretty much usually already potty trained because they're crate trained at the track, so they are easy to manage that way. And they don't do a lot of things that a lot of other dog breeds do. Like they don't dig that much, they don't bark, they don't do a whole lot of other behavioral issues that you have with other dogs. It's exceedingly rewarding because you get to see these, these guys come in not feeling well, not feeling much of anything sometimes, um, kind of shut down often. And you see them blossom, you see them l learn things, you see them actually develop a personality. I mean, they literally sometimes look at you like, look what I can do. And you literally see a personality develop that they didn't know they had. And then to see them move into an adoptive home and, and sometimes we get to see how happy they are and how happy their families are. I mean, these people, they, they're just so thankful.